Welcome to Financial Med. Um, this part of this series is going to focus on two parts. So this is the first part. And the first part is going to deal with easy questions. Below is going to be a link, going to be a link to a Google quiz that has questions that fall under easy questions. And you can basically do that and score yourself after doing that so that you can see whether you understand the easy sections in Financial Med. Then part two will be the advanced questions, right? I'll leave a link in the course. Uh, if you want to purchase it, it's only 120. So I leave it in the description. Part one is going to be us focusing on 7.1, right? And also focusing on 7.2.1, uh, then 7.2.2, then 7.3. The whole of it is going to be part of part two. So that's what we're going to do now, right? So with that said, is the following let's do the first question it says how many years will it take to triple an investment if the interest is compounded annually at a rate of 9.8 pm right so we know the fact that it's compounded interest so meaning the formula that we need to use is going to be a is equals to p then it's going to be one plus i divided by m to the power n multiplied by in, right so let's write the information since they say the fact that how long does it take to basically what how long let me just take my highlighter how long does it take to triple the investment so for us to triple the investment is that since we don't know the investment what it is we're going to let p just be x and do not worry this x is going to cancel out right then we know the fact that a is the investment being tripled meaning it's going to be 3 multiplied by y multiplied by x, which is the same as 3x. I hope that makes sense, right? Then, what are we looking for? They say how many years, so we're going to be looking for n, right? So we know that here i is equal to what? 2, 9,8. Then we're going to divide that by 100, which is going to be equal to 0, 0, uh, 0,098, right? Then we know the fact that n is the one that we're looking for. Then we're going to have what? We're going to have a. They say the fact that n with the n with the means the fact that m is equals to 1, right? So we're going to substitute everything here in the formula to basically solve for what? To solve for a. So let's do that. So this is going to be 7 point. Right. So when we do that, it's going to be a is equals to p. Then it's going to be 1 plus i divided by m. Then this is going to be n multiplied by substitute so we know the fact that here is going to be 3 x and here is going to be x open bracket is going to be 1 plus then here is going to be what it's going to be 0 comma 0 9 8 and this is going to be divided by what this is going to be divided by 1 then this is to the power uh, n is what we're looking for multiplied by what multiplied by 1 so let's sort it out so we know we're going to take the x to the other side because we want in alone right so we're going to get rid of this x so this is going to be the same as the x divided by x is equals to what is equals to 1 plus 0 comma 0 and 9 8 to the power what in multiplied by 1 is the same as in right then we're going to add this together the one that's in the bracket and here the x are going to cancel out so this is going to be 3 is equals to what is equals to when you add that together it's going to be equals to 549 divided by what? divided by 500 and this is to the power 8 right do you see the fact that what i said is that the x are going to cancel out meaning we have one unknown which is n and that's what we're looking for so now this is an exponent and the part that we need that is what we need to solve is the exponent right to change this we need to change it to a log this is going to be very easy right so you're going to take the n that you want. It's going to be on the other side, right? Then you're going to say log. Remember the fact that this fraction is a base. Then this fraction is going to go here. So it's going to be 549 divided by 500, right? And you're going to take this 3. It's going to be here, right? Then what you're going to do is that you're going to punch this into your calculator. Then you're going to have that n is equal to what? It's going to be equal to 11,75, right? So it's very important that when you're finding the number of years, you always sign up. So therefore, n is going to be equals to 12. What do I mean that you've always signed up? 
let me just show it here. Let's say maybe we got m is equals to 11 comma to 1, right? If we had to round it off using the rules is that this was going to be what? It needed to be n is equals to 11. But because we always round up, therefore here n is going to be also equals to 12. Because when you're looking for the number of years, you always what? You always round up. I hope that makes sense. So that's how you would solve this question, right? So that's how you would solve this question. So now we're going to move to what? To uh, what you call the 7.2. So let me just change my pen color. So 7.2.1. So it says, I didn't need 64,000 for a holiday. He started to invest a fixed amount of his salary at a rate of 8,5 uh, compounded monthly at the end of each month for 10 years, right? Then the first question, which says calculate the monthly installment that you would need to achieve this. So, Andira wants to write to save up. Saving up is the same as investing, right? So, meaning we're going to use this formula, which is the future value, right? How do we know that we're using the future value? One is that the key point they're talking about monthly payments, right? And here, we need to calculate the monthly payment. So, we know the fact that we're going to use the future value, right? Because it talks about investment, right? And save it. So, we know that the formula is this, right? Then it's going to be n multiplied by m minus 1. And this all thing is divided by i divided by it, right? So, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make x the subject because we're looking for the monthly payment and x is the monthly payment, right? So let's do that. So it's going to be the same as x is equals to f x multiplied by what? Multiplied by i divided by m. And this whole thing is going to be divided by the square bracket. So it's going to be 1 plus i divided by m to the power n multiplied by m minus 1. Right? And then now we're going to write the information that we give it. We want, what is the investment that we want at the end of 10 years? Or what is the investment that Anita wants at the end of 10 years? Is that Anita wants his investment to be equals to what? To 64,000. That's what he wants, right? Then what is the interest? The interest for that is going to be what? It's going to be I is equals to 8,5. Then you're going to divide that by 100, which is going to be the same as 0, 0,085, right? So that's the interest. Then we know the fact that it's compounded white monthly. So we know the fact that it's compounded monthly. But first, how many years? We know the fact that it's a period of 10 years, right? So n is equals to 10. n is equals to 10. Then we know the fact that it's compounded monthly. So n is equals to 12 because of the compounded monthly, right? So that is all the information that we need. So we're going to substitute that. So it's going to be x. Sorry. So it's going to be x, then it's going to be 64,000, right? Then multiply by what? And this is going to be 0, 08, right? Then this is going to be divided by 12. And this whole thing is going to be 1 plus 0, 085 divided by what? Divided by 12 to the power 10 multiplied by 12 minus 1, right? Then you're going to pass that into the calculator. You're going to find that your x is going to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to 300 and 30, comma, 8, 1. So, Andile needs to basically put in an installment of 340 for the next what? For the next 10 years every month to achieve 64,000. And that is the end of part one.